Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a user that had a question about Lightburn and the OMT laser. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody. So a user reached out and said they were getting a machine protected error. And in the comments of one of my videos, somebody said that you can go in and change a setting so that the door is not checked. So my friends, here are the steps to make that happen. Alrighty friends, so step one is to click File, Edit, and then choose Machine Settings. If you've got your laser cutter connected properly via USB, it'll read the settings and we can check them out. The area that we're looking for is the Vendor Settings. Once you click Vendor Settings, we can scroll down and find the Enable Door Protect and you can shut that off. Now I want you to know that if yours is working, I would never shut that off, but if you've got one that's shipped without the sensor, but if you've got one that's shipped without the sensor or your sensor is faulty, this is a good way to get it so that you can test it. I do want to make sure you understand I would never shut off the water protect sensor though because you always want to be running your laser with water going through to cool it. If you're looking to still add your device, you can do that down here on the devices button. I'm going to hit create manually and all I did was slide down, find Ruido, told it next. I was connecting mine via serial USB told it next you can put any name you want to call here I'm gonna put fake because I already have my real one and then I'm gonna type in my X which is 600 and my Y which is 400 when you tell it next I know that I want mine to be rear left boom that's done and now it's created and I will be able to connect and find it of course I don't want that one so I'm gonna simply hit remove and tell it okay Real quickly, friends, I did learn a couple other things while I was exploring this. So when I hit File and then I hit Edit and I chose Settings, we can get into this location. There are two chunks to pick from. You've got the Display in Units and you've got the File Settings. Under Display in Units, I noticed that you can have different kinds of nudge with the arrow keys. If you do Control in an arrow, it nudges at one unit. If you just use an arrow, it does five units. And finally, if you do Shift and an arrow, it does 20 units at a time, which is a fantastic way to move items around as you're placing them in your project. Of course, don't forget if you also click the file settings, you've got lots of options to tinker with there as well. Alrighty friends, so hopefully you found that useful and if you did, please give the video a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.